Welcome back to Noir Alley. I'm your host, Eddie Muller. This time around, I'm presenting the only noir of the classic era directed by a woman, Ida Lupino. It's The Hitchhiker, released in 1953 by RKO, but produced by Lupino's own company, The Filmmakers. And it gives me a chance to once again state for the record that Ida Lupino is the most talented and versatile woman in the history of movies. From the time she was a teenage ingenue, Lupino was regarded as a remarkably gifted actress, often playing characters far beyond her years, if not her maturity. Brought to Hollywood in the 30s from her native England, she blazed through an early phase as a platinum-haired starlet. At Warner Brothers, she excelled in dramas, but was saddled with the tag, The Poor Man's Betty Davis. Well, I can't buy that. In 40s films like The Man I Love and Roadhouse, Lupino showed an unmannered style and wit that, to me, left Davis in the shade. But acting wasn't enough for Ida. Inspired by the films of neorealist directors such as Vittorio De Sica and Roberto Rossellini, Lupino embarked on a new career in the late 40s as an independent filmmaker. She and her husband, writer-producer Collier Young, are even credited with coining the phrase filmmakers, the name of the company they formed to write, produce, and direct their own movies. Lupino tackled themes considered off-limits in Hollywood. Not Wanted was about an unwanted pregnancy. In Never Fear, a dancer suffers polio. And Outrage dared consider the plight of a rape victim. All provocative subjects handled in a compassionate, never sensational manner. And all those films featured female protagonists. Which brings us to today's film, The Hitchhiker, the only noir of the era without a single woman credited in the cast. Now, you talk about guts. It was hard enough for a woman in 1953 to helm a feature film in a business rife with ingrained sexism, to produce an acute depiction of aberrant male psychopathology wrapped into a suspenseful hostage thriller. Well, that was ballsy to the max. The Hitchhiker is based on the true story of Billy Cook, an itinerant petty thief whose miserable life culminated in a month-long killing spree in 1950. At that time, interstate highways were a relatively new phenomenon, and hitchhiking was not uncommon. But it became distinctly less popular after Billy Cook started taking travelers hostage across the American Southwest, killing six of them. This movie is specifically based on the ordeal of James Burke and Forrest Damron, hunting buddies from Southern California who lived a waking nightmare after stopping to pick up Billy Cook on their way to Mexico. Well, not long after, Lupino was in Palm Springs accepting an award of some sort when she happened to meet Forrest Damron, who told her the tale of how they survived the ordeal. And convinced it would make a compelling film, Lupino then did another gutsy thing. She visited Billy Cook in San Quentin, where the convicted murderer was now on death row. Since her intention was to recreate a factual account of Cook's last ride, she wanted him to sign a release, allowing her to use his name. She even intended to call the film The Cook Story. Well, that's where the FBI interceded, refusing her permission to use the killer's actual name. The agency was trying to prevent criminals from profiting from their crimes, even if it was only notoriety, not money. Lupino and Collier Young hired Robert Joseph to develop a treatment and then wrote the final script themselves. Even though the names were changed, Lupino and Young managed to sneak in many factual details, most importantly, a facial deformity that prevented one of Cook's eyes from closing, which becomes essential to the plot and one of the more memorable aspects of the film. To me, this movie is a forerunner to films like Deliverance and Straw Dogs, stories about average men pushed to their limits by the savagery of other men and having to find some way to survive. As the stand-ins for Burke and Damron, Frank Lovejoy and Edmund O'Brien give subtle, nerve-wracked performances, easily among the best in either man's careers. But the story is dominated by the malevolent and manipulative hitchhiker. And keep driving. A character who represents man's most barbaric, nihilist aspects. You guys are going to die, that's all. Just a question of when. 
If you only know William Tallman from Perry Mason, whereas D.A. Hamilton Berger, he compiled the worst conviction record in legal history, you're in for a shock. Good luck falling asleep after this one. From 1953, here are Edmund O'Brien, Frank Lovejoy, William Tallman, and the eye that won't close in Ida Lupino's The Hitchhiker. <laughs> 